Now we've all seen this footage of Stuart Seldowitz abusing a street vendor in New York. If we killed 4,000 Palestinian kids, you know what? It wasn't enough. But who is Stuart Seldowitz and what has he been a part of? for all of these years. Stuart Seldowitz, the three-time recipient of the State Department's Superior Honor Award. He served in the State Department in their Office of Israel and Palestine Affairs as Deputy Director during the Bush years. This racist man had a role in managing the lie of the two-state solution. The two-state solution that was the subterfuge through which Palestinians have been continually battered by years of Israeli occupation. The PR drive around the world, the mirage for a future that never existed. Stuart Seldowitz also was a national security advisor to President Obama. The same President Obama who led the NATO intervention of Libya, which saw the country bombed 7,000 times in a six month period that led to Libyans trying to escape and drowning in the Mediterranean. His words are not just frivolous sentences coming out of the mouth of a racist, they are actual policy. Travel out in, in Egypt, we'll get your parents. Go, go, go. Does your father out. like his fingernails? They'll, they'll take them out one by one. When he speaks so easily of fingernails being removed by pro-Israel and pro-US dictators, he is not simply using poetic flair. He means people have their fingernails removed by those who are merely satraps of the US empire. What we heard on the streets of New York was an articulation of what has been effectively US policy towards the region throughout the time that that gentleman has been employed by the US State Department. But beyond the outrage, and the immediate association of Stuart Seldowitz with the US government, Obama and Bush, and bipartisan necropolitics of US empire, let's also look at the place that listed him as an employee at the time of his harassment of this man on the streets of New York. Stuart Seldowitz was listed as an employee of Gotham Government Relations. This is a lobby group for hire that has very close connection to the Israeli government. Shai Franklin, a key figure at Gotham Government Relations, was simultaneously employed by the Israel Kosovo Chamber of Commerce and has gone to great lengths to state his support for Israel throughout this horrendous war on Gaza, even helping to organize pro-Israel demonstrations that were attended by Seldowitz himself. In addition to that, you have the case of Gary Ackerman, a US congressman registered as an employee of Gotham Government Relations. Now, when Gary Ackerman was in US Congress, his relationship with APAC was so close and so well known that he even intervened and assisted in the release of an Israeli prisoner of war. You also have Gotham government relations on record attending a celebration for Israel's 70th anniversary at the United Nations alongside Danny Danon, Israel's ambassador to the United Nations. You also have Gotham government relations working for Donald Trump in his first presidential campaign. And during that time, it was alleged that Gotham government relations paid actors $50 each to be part of a cheering crowd for Donald Trump, the president to be. Stuart Seldowitz is not an aberration. He is part of a wider push across these last decades that have seen genocidal wars visited upon people of Western Asia, the Middle East and further afield. It has seen people of Afghanistan eviscerated by NATO's occupation. It's seen people of Iraq bombed with depleted uranium, which would ensure that future generations were likely to be born in horrific circumstances and an increase of cancer, which was even larger than that left in Hiroshima. The wars that Stuart Seldowitz and his government exacted upon the rest of the world 
caused unspeakable human suffering. And so the ideas that we hear and revile at when he spoke them to a street vendor in New York were not merely poetic flair, they were actual policy. Alternatives like Double Down News, who engage directly in a critical way with the issues of the day and are unafraid to investigate the powerful must be supported. So please do what you can to support Double Down News on Patreon now. Why the Israeli forces were shooting dead protesters at the Gaza crossings? Well, we can't put all these people in jail. 